I have still not even gone into my subject. Sample theory, law of inertia of large numbers, statistical regularity, principle of optimization, principle of validity. Yes, no? Yes. Here it is not there. Achha, here they have not thought of But otherwise you have got to Then you can still answer. <laughs> See what is okay. What is a uh, uh, law of uh, large numbers? Inertia of large numbers. Large numbers. If the sample size increases, the uh, it tends to be normal distribution. Properties of normal distribution. What if my data is ordinal data? Will it still be normal distribution? If I increase sample size, can't be. So it can't be the answer. If sample size increases, sample error will be decreased. Exactly. Error will, error will decrease. Which means, over a period of time, the error evens out. What is evening out? Coming back to the mean. That's what it means. Right? So, in whichever case there is chance, whichever case there is randomness, which in statistics that's what we are doing. We, we select our samples randomly, right? Wherever there is chance, wherever there is luck, Wherever there is randomness, there will always be the tendency of going back to the mean. Which means, if you are a gambler, when you win on one day, you are bound to lose out. Or if you lose one day, you have increased probability to do better than that. That's what it means and that is the meaning of regression. Clear? Are we clear? Oh, sorry, I, I left that hanging. Inductive logic, deductive logic, abductive logic. These are types of research. Are these types of research? Yes, no? Great question. What are these? Logic. Okay. Are these forms of research? That's, a, that's all my question. When we, first when we learn what is research, types of research, what are all the types of research? 